Welcome. This is a demo of JPerf, which is a uh, Java GUI for iPerf. Uh, you can find JPerf all over the web, but a lot of them are infected with viruses or need compile. Um, but if you go to the SourceForge site where iPerf is, there's a subfolder called JPerf, and you can download the JPerf 2.0 um, binary or jar file and run it. So I've, I'm showing that here. We'll zoom in. It's SourceForge.net slash projects slash iperf slash files slash jperf and jperf2.0 and then you can pull the zip file down. Now we've already done that for you. You do have to have Java installed and I have a um, Windows machine here running at my home office. Here's the jperf folder and if you go inside and you run the batch file, the batch file will call the jar file for you and um, run and look like this. Let me show you the interface real quick. At the top, you're going to tell it whether it's client or server, and then you have your run, your stop, or your um, restore default settings. On the left, you're going to set some parameters about how you want this output to work. Um, for example, we can set the time and the megabits, kilobits, gigabits, the test ports. Um, in down lower, you can actually change the UDP. You can tweak the window size. You can tweak the buffer length. Um, you can mess around with some connections and down here I don't really mess with these but you can put uh, TTL type of service high you know low cost throughput whatever and you can also enable IP version 6 for the most part though the interface sets itself up fairly well now this is going to be the client for our test and it's at my home office and at one of the universities down in Philadelphia um, I have behind us a um, server running at that university that is also running the jperf and I've had downloaded the folder to it and I've uh, launched it. So we're going to configure this guy as the server today but ordinarily I test in both directions. So I'll start with this guy as the server, my Windows 7 box is the client, and then I'll reverse them. So to make this the server I haven't tweaked any settings. All I'm going to do is click server. It defaults to port 5001. I'm not going to limit the number of connections and put a client limit. I'm just going to set that. In order for our output not to come in kilobits per second, I'm going to switch this to megabits per second and leave my report interval to every one second. I'll get an update. For the most part, that's all I'm going to do. So I just hit start, and you can see that's listening on port 5001, and it's ready to go. So on the client side, and this is back where I am, and this is going to be the client, so I have to know the IP address. 247. That's the server's address. And by the way, it does give you the iperf command if you ever want to do them at the command line. I kind of like having this graph, but this output down here is going to be the uh, um, typical iperf output. iperf is a command line version of this. Or actually, this is a Java GUI for iperf. Now, parallel streams, if I want to see how much bandwidth I'm getting out of one transfer, leave this at one. If you want to see two transfers, then you can bump it up. So. For example, if I'm at a distance where I'm going from here to Australia and because of transmission delay, I'm never going to really get more than 2 or 3 meg. I could try bumping that to 2 and I should double the bandwidth because it's 2 or 3 meg double over. Over here, I'm going to go set the transmission timing for 30 seconds. I want it to run for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to switch this to megabits so my output is megabits per second. And For the most part, I'm going to leave everything else alone. And we're going to Put the client here and move the server down so you can kind of see the output window here of both. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the client. You can see it's connect down here. Uh, we see the connection go up. We see we're running about 21 uh, megabits per second, almost 22. And you can see that's also adjusted here, running about the same. So we're actually running about 20, uh, 22, 20. Uh, 1 megabits per second. Actually, it lists it right here in the text. Uh, 21.6 megabits per second, which is pretty good considering that this particular test is running through a VPN. Now, this window pops back up when the test is done because it goes back to where you launched the batch file on uh, Windows 7, so you just minimize that out of your way, but you can view your results down here. This is what you would have seen in the iperf window. Um, so this is actually running iperf under the skin. And you can kind of go and see if you drop packets. I mean, a bad connection, you'll be dropping up and down, up and down, up and down. You may even see some errors in there where it drops real low. 
Um, so this uh, gives us our ability to trap this data and uh, run longer tests for longer amount, longer amount of time to make sure that we are getting consistent throughput on our connections. If we're not, then we got to you know start to investigate why that's happening. Um, typically, we'll run an iperf, jperf test, and then if we have problems, we might do captures on top of that and see what's happening using Wireshark. So that's how you run your test. And then what you would do is reverse these roles to make this the client and this the server and test it in the reverse direction. Um, I hope you appreciate it. I uh, know this is a good tool to use and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks for watching.